It was initially treated as a case of sudden death, but a post-mortem last Thursday on the body of San Pedro resident Plutarco Norales has revealed that he was murdered. The 56-year-old Honduran national died from traumatic asphyxia as a result of severe blunt force trauma. We got the information on Wednesday that a male person died at the hospital. We proceeded to that location where we made checks um, where they saw the lifeless body of Mr. Protarco Norales, right? He's a Honduranian national, has no fixed address. All we know is that he um, wanders around in the Boca del Rio Park, and he's a frequent um, drinker and remains in that area. According to reports, Norales arrived at the polyclinic in San Pedro on Wednesday morning, complaining of severe chest pains. Less than an hour later, around 8.50 a.m., he succumbed in the emergency room. His cousin, Alex Jason Norales, found out about his demise later that evening. Wednesday evening, um, one of his drinking buddies actually called me, inquiring whether I knew anything about, about um, what had transpired, and I, but I was clueless. Um, so I said, um, I have no clue what you're talking about. He said, well, this morning we took your cousin to the, to the polyclinic. Um, did you go and see him? I said, well, none of you informed me or anything like that. And um, he said, okay. He left it like that. About half an hour later, he called me and told me, boy, it looks like the, your cousin died and he's in the morgue in Belize. Affectionately known as Pitufo, Alex says that the older Norales is a retired military personnel who has been living on the island for five years and stayed with his family in the San Pedrito area. But he was a compulsive drinker and would many times be seen at the Boca del Rio Park in the drunken state. Alex believes that he was injured at this location. Well, of course it is a shock um, because what um, the version of the same guy, I will not mention his name right now, but um, his version was that uh, my cousin had, had eaten or consumed some pepper the night before and that the pepper was bothering him and that he couldn't sleep, right? And that was his account, so I know that he knows more than what he's talking about, that he was coughing all night, coughing all night, and that he did not let them sleep. Because um, he didn't, every, any time he would be drinking, he wouldn't stay here with the family or anything. He would just pick up and he would go, they would sleep on the beach and abandoned buildings. There's a place right now by the beach where most of them hang out. So who would want to hurt the elder Norales, who is described as a handyman around the island? He was a quiet person, you know. He never used to mess with nobody. Um, whenever he wasn't drinking, he, he was a hard worker. He's the one who painted this entire house. Um, so, and, and I have, like, I teach and then I have a boat on the side here, so whenever I get some little um, jobs to go and pull sand, he would go with me. As long as he's not drinking and, and the man pulls his weight, so, um, like I said, he, he was a hard worker, he was a quiet person, so I'm, I'm very shocked that someone would, would, would injure him. What would, have, what would he do to deserve something like this, you know? So far we have canvassed the area and we have recorded several statements but nothing to indicate that anyone had caused any harm to him. Nothing, nothing to indicate that anyone had, had caused any harm to him. Also, from one of, the, one of the statements, they had stated that the swelling on his neck was, not, was a swelling that over time he had, and they told him to go and check on it at the doctor. And so we, we, are, still, we are still investigating that also. His body will be transported to La Ceiba, Honduras for burial. Dwayne Moody for News 5.